Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Old Navy try on haul. Um, I was inspired to buy all these pieces because I do need some new clothing to refresh my closet for the spring and summer a little bit as well as there was a 50% off sale. Uh, so, oh, sorry, that was my dog. <laughs> so definitely never need to pay full price for Old Navy. So check it out. Um, I should mention this video is not sponsored by Old Navy. I did spend my own money on the, these pieces. This is a very large haul. Everything I bought was in a medium and if I bought it in a tall, I will mention it when I try it on. Um, I This is actually my first impression of these. This is actually my first impressions of these pieces with the exception of the outfit I currently have on because I was so excited as I will say in the try on portion of this video that I ripped off the tags as soon as I got it. Um, but other than that, everything else will definitely be my first impressions of that item. So I'm really excited. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the first outfit. It is this like purpley tie dye set. Uh, as soon as I got this, uh, as when I felt it, I ripped the tags off and I put it on right away. I think I've been wearing it for like two days in a row now. <laughs> and uh, it is a, like a lighter material uh, that's really good for the spring. So that's why I was super excited about it because all of the loungewear I currently have is uh, really thick or fleece lined, which is, it's getting a little bit warmer here. So this is definitely more ideal. Like we went for a walk and I was just wearing this and it was perfect. I think it was like 12 degrees outside. Uh, so just the top, it does have a little cross detailing here. It's just a crew neck. Like I said, it's very lightweight. It's not fleece line. So I think it's just like that terry cloth material. Uh, the drawstring on the pants does work. I think it's like a mid-rise, like I have at least at as a mid-rise. Mid and uh, I'm 5'8", and I would say they're like 7 eighths length on me. Um, I guess I could... Put them lower but i like my uh, joggers to be high rise or at least mid rise so i'd maybe hike them up a little bit more than they should old navy usually has tall but they sell out very fast so i was unable to get tall yeah so i got every i got the top and the bottoms in a medium and i just paired them with my white nikes i think it looks really good they're a little bit dirty because I do wear these a lot. I got these at Foot Locker if you're wondering. It's not part of the haul, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, overall, very impressed with this set. Uh, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this throughout the spring, especially in Canada. The weather is very unpredictable. One day it could be minus 10 and the next day it could be plus 10. Uh, like these next two days, for example. I just like to front tuck the sweater, leave the back out. Yeah, it's cute. I'll take it out to show you how long it is. So just right at the top of the butt. Okay, so second outfit is this uh, tie-dyed outfit. This is another tie-dyed outfit. This one is white. It has a little bit of like peach, blue, pink in it. So I'll start with the top. So the top it comes up a little bit higher than the last one. It is a thicker material than the the purpley tie dyed one. It does have like a tight sleeves at the bottom and it does have this wide band at the bottom. I kind of find that even though this is a matching set it doesn't I don't find it really goes together like I kind of find this awkward this here with these being very high rise. It is a lot thicker too so I think it will be hotter in the spring and summer months and if for some reason like the the joggers are the same material as the previous outfit but the top is like a thicker material. It's definitely different and it is fleece lined. It is fleece lined but then the joggers are just like that terry cloth material. So maybe there was uh, something else that is supposed that can go with these joggers that I didn't see, 
but I, I'm not the biggest fan. I was thinking maybe I could tuck in or maybe pull this up. I am a big fan of this style of a jogger. Um, it, it is higher waisted. Like I said, I am 5'8", and these are definitely longer. They're full length on me. They're the same lightweight material as the previous one. I don't think they're see-through. Like I am wearing, I'm wearing white underwear, so you won't really be able to tell, but I definitely don't think they're see-through. Maybe if you're wearing bright underwear for sure, but I don't I don't see a problem with the underwear I'm wearing right now. Okay guys, I definitely think I went overboard with the tie-dye. So <laughs> first I'll talk about the shirt though. So it's just a plain like a uh, short t-shirt. I wouldn't say it's cropped. I th maybe the definition says it's cropped. It's a, it's a thin material, but it's nice. It's soft. You know, it's, I got this in a medium. It's a great basic and you can't go wrong. Basics at Old Navy are super cheap. So yeah, nothing more you can really say about that. It's just something easy to throw on, especially with something so loud as these pants. So these are tie dyed pants. Uh, they're around the same color scheme as the last outfit, but I think they're just, they're definitely, they're different. It's more like splats of paint it kind of looks like rather than tie-dye uh, and there's a little bit of like a red maroon color yeah, these are very lightweight a lot more lightweight uh, than the first outfit um, they can be see-through like I put my hand underneath and you can definitely see my hand um, but if I like I'm wearing Right now I'm wearing uh, nude underwear so you can't see it. So just uh, consider that if you want to purchase these. These do fold over so I like that. I guess if you wanted like a big belly band, maybe if you're pregnant, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so they fold over all the way around. Um, they're, they can be, they're mid leg, they can be high rise if you want it to be. And like I said, I am 5'8", uh, so these are about 7 8 length on me. This is the last tie-dyed item. So these are, it's just the same shirt, again, that I'm wearing from the uh, last outfit. Uh, but the shorts, they're the same tie-dye uh, pattern as the second jogger set. Uh, they are, however the same material as the last pants. They do have the fold over. The difference with the shorts is they have this drawstring that works so you can cinch it in if you want. I do have big thighs and uh, like overall I am uh, impressed with the room and the thighs. A lot of the time if I wear shorts like this it starts to like bunch up like this and then you know that's like just not flattering. So yeah, I find they like fit well like seamless there's a little slit here there's pockets gotta love that there's pockets they're super lightweight so they're gonna be great for the spring and summer easy to throw on um, and great to lounge around the house in all right so next item is these biker shorts i did want them in the black but they were actually sold out and i was really curious to try these and i'm actually very impressed they have a good amount of compression at the top. Uh, there's no seam anywhere on the top except, well, except for the sides, which I absolutely love. So it does not dig in. It does have a front seam here. So there is the concern of camel toe. It's not too bad, but it's definitely a little bit. Um, they are at the perfect length that I like, um, especially, I because I do have bigger thighs, if I get them too short, the shorts ride up and then I start getting chafing on my leg. They might be a little see-through depending on what under you're wearing. So just wear the seamless nude underwear, skin tone underwear. But overall, I really like these. Okay, so I just threw this sweater on because it doesn't really go with anything else that I bought. Um, it is that light material again from the same uh, from the first outfit. It is actually a black 
tie-dye. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. Yeah, so it's a black tie-dye. Um, I love the length of it. It just hits the butt. It's very light. Definitely not going to be overwhelming in the hotter weather. Something you can just easily throw on. Uh, the They do have mac matching joggers, but they were sold out. I, don't, I can't remember if they were sold out completely or just of my size. Uh, there was a lot of items on the Old Navy website where they had like the top of something but completely sold out of the bottom or vice versa. Uh, but overall, I really am pleased with this sweater. I'm really into this white light. Bleh, bleh. I'm really into this lightweight material uh, for spring and summer. Uh, especially if you're like sitting by the fire uh, at night in the backyard or going camping, which I think most people are going to do this summer because that's all we can really get away with. This is perfect for a little when it's a little bit chilly. All right, so the next uh, outfit is this crew neck sweater dress. It is super comfy. Again, that lightweight material uh, is just in this gray color with the crew neck stitching. I got this in a medium. I definitely maybe could have gone for small uh, just to cinch it in a little bit at the waist. I paired them with my white Nikes again just for like a super casual look. Um, it goes like you know halfway down my thigh uh, which is a perfect length for me. Uh, this is something that I would look to definitely wear the um, the biker shorts with if I could get a pair of black ones just for safety you know you never know especially when you have a kid and you have to bend over uh, to pick them up but this is something super easy to throw on just be super casual you know go around around do errands go to the park um, but wear those biker shorts <laughs> um, yeah but even even without anything underneath like I can bend over pretty well like when I put on my shoes and whatnot. I am. Um, I just really like this outfit. I always think dresses are the easiest thing to wear in the spring and summer, especially when you're super busy. You, without any effort, you can just throw it on and you look kind of put together. Yeah. All right. So I think this is actually the last loungewear or activewear outfit. This is actually in the activewear section at Old Navy. It is like a soft like a very buttery soft material. It is super comfy. Uh, so it does have that V wrap at the front. So it would probably be better to wear a sports bra with it, but it's super comfy. I did get this in a medium tall cause I am 5'8". Um, so this is actually perfect length on me. Um, I was concerned, actually it does seem a little bit baggy at the bottom, but I actually prefer that. I just didn't want it to be very <laughs> tight in the crotch, you know, uh, like the, the problem that a lot of people have with rompers. There's an elastic right at around my belly button, or maybe a little bit above my belly button to provide a waist. There's pockets, which is awesome. This is just so crazy, like buttery, soft, comfy. It just kind of reminds me of that Lululemon Align material. All right, so we're finally done with the loungewear, uh, moving on to regular clothes. But what is that, honestly? <laughs> I don't think anybody knows at this point. Uh, so I'll start with the top. It is this white linen material. It has this one like light brown tortoiseshell button. It is very light, great for hot weather, especially if you need to look a little bit more professional. Um, has the collar on the top. Sorry, I should have steamed it before this try on. Um, <laughs> so my bad. It, the lengths, the lengths, the sleeves are three quarter length. So they hit like right above the, if you're wearing a watch. I got this in a medium. It ends just below the butt. So I guess you could wear leggings with this if you wanted to. It does have a nice slit here to allow for movement because linen is not very stretchy. And then the jeans, they are their, this is their Made Rise Rockstar jeans. 
So I got these in a size eight. Um, they fit very well. I know from owning uh, Old Navy jeans that they do stretch out because they ha do have a lot of stretch to them. I've never owned like this washed charcoal denim before. I've been looking for a pair and I really, I really like these. And they do have one rip on the knee and they have the frayed hem and they do come to about seven eighths on me. Here's the back. I think they look pretty good on the booty. And then I have these suede, faux suede mules on. They are very comfy. They do have like an extra cushion in the sole. Just something easy to slip on. Uh, especially when you're running after a kid. Uh, I think these will be very useful for that. You can just slip them right on and go. And you know you can walk around in them for a while because they do have that extra cushion. Alright, so I just changed my top. Uh, this shirt is a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's not something I would usually pick up. Uh, I got this in a medium. It is this like cream color and there's like embroidery on the top. It's a square neck with a puff sleeve. And it's about three quarters length and there's actually a button so you could undo that and roll up your sleeves if you wanted. Um, it, it is quite tear and it's a shape so it does go out. Well it's cute but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, maybe it's just because it's out of my comfort zone and uh, so I'm not used to seeing myself in something like this but it is a cute, cute little shirt. I see people on YouTube in hauls wearing shirts like this all the time and I think it's absolutely adorable on them. And then when you put it on yourself, it's, it always feels like it looks different. Okay, I know I said I was done with a loungewear, but I forgot about this piece. I know we are about to go into spring and summer. So it's like, what are you thinking, Kiona? But honestly, I can never pass up a, a fuzzy sweater. This is a medium and it's very like oversized. It has the slouch sleeve, has a little collar. It is so soft. It feels like you're wearing a blanket, honestly. It has pockets. I just absolutely love it. I. Oh, I could definitely live in this sweater. It's more of a cream color than a white. So it's like an off-white, um, a little bit more on the cream side. Like I said, I could just live in this. All right, so the dogs have decided to join me. So here is Gibby. Uh, but this is the next outfit. So the top is actually not from Old Navy. I thought I got a top to go with these jeans, but I haven't. This is actually just a bodysuit from Topshop. But the jeans are from Old Navy. These are their Sky High Straight. Yeah, Sky High Straight jeans. I got these in a size 10 because they do ha don't have any stretch at all. Uh, they do have rips throughout. And they are definitely a little bit see-through. So like I said, I'm wearing a bodysuit and you can actually see the line because it's not a thong bodysuit so maybe a black bodysuit is not the best definitely wear nude underwear maybe a white bodysuit or a nude one um or just a regular shirt uh, and these sandals are not from well maybe either i think they're yeah they're from aldo i like the relaxed fit in the thighs like i said i do have thicker thighs so they're a little bit tight but not too tight uh, so not, not too much to worry about and it is a lighter color which is great for the hotter weather that should be coming soon hopefully all right so this shirt is actually like the dress version of the shirt I was wearing with the black gray jeans earlier um, again I probably should have steamed it but it, so it is that same linen material. It has a collar around the neck. It has the same button, same pocket. It's just honestly longer. Um, the sleeves are longer. It actually came with the sleeves rolled up like that, which I actually like because I feel like they would be halfway 
down my hand if I did that. It, it is very see-through, so I am wearing like light blue underwear. You can probably see it. Um, so that is unfortunate because I would have said this would be like a cute little dress, especially for like the office in the summer months if you're still going into the office. Um, I kind of wish it did have like maybe a little gathering or like pin like sewn like that. Um, it is very boxy. It is right above my knee. Again, I am 5'8", so if you are shorter than me, it will be longer. Like, I like the concept of it. I just don't like that it's see-through because I would most likely wear this in a more professional setting. And I think because of see-through, it just kind of, it takes that option away for sure. Next is these faux suede, not suede, faux leather shoes in like a light brown. They are extremely comfortable. I got them. I got both pairs of shoes. I don't know if I mentioned before. I got both pairs of shoes in a size 9 or no 10, sorry. Both in a size 10. I'm usually a nine and a half, but I don't think they had nine and a half in these shoes. So these are very comfortable. They would definitely go with anything that you want to wear. So the next dress I think is what they call like that like a western dress. It is this one is actually like a cord material. It has these like white tortoiseshell buttons with the silver metal around it. It has two pockets. Um, it has like that typical western patching on the shoulders with the collar. Um, it's very comfortable like even though it's cord it's like very lightweight. Um, and I don't think it's perfect for the spring. I don't think it'll be too hot. I love the length of it. It is a little bit higher than halfway up my thighs. I think it's a good fit. It's not too boxy. It does round at the bottom, which is great. It gives you a little better shape. Overall, I actually really like this. I wasn't expecting to like this so much. But I definitely really like it. It's just easy to throw on. You look put together. I have them on with the same tan shoes. Yet again, uh, another dress. This one is just a t-shirt dress. It is like a dark charcoal. Um, it has this ribbed, <laughs> ribbed collar. It has a little pocket. Um, yeah, I don't know if you've watched my H&M haul, but I did try the t-shirt dress trend there and that ended horribly. I think this is definitely a step up from that. It is a lot more flattering. Um, it's longer but that's okay. Uh, need it longer. I would definitely wear some biker shorts underneath this and I have them paired with my Nike just for like a super casual look. This is super comfy. Again easy to throw on and just go with the kids. Hi, good baby. <laughs> or the pups. All right, so we made it to the last outfit. The last outfit is this really pretty dress in like this uh, burnt orange color. Um, it has the ruffling at the top. Um, it has the ruching on the chest and the bodice. And then it's tiered as it goes down. It does have like these little like flower details. I don't know. If you can see that it's super cute it comes right down like just above my ankle you could definitely wear it like I have a bra on but you could definitely wear it off the shoulder as well like that's a super cute look I actually bought this for Easter photos for last weekend but it didn't come in time so I actually ran to Old Navy and bought the same one in white. So I'm not going to put that one on. I, this one's in a medium. I prefer the medium. Um, but I got the white one in large um, because I couldn't try it on. So it was, the, the photos were the next day and I wanted to make sure that it fit. Uh, so I got it in a large, but it, there was a lot of gaping around here because I might be large 
like body, but my chest definitely isn't large. Um, so yeah, so it definitely, there was a lot of gaping. So I prefer the medium. I absolutely love this color. I prefer this color over the white. Um, but the white was super cute for Easter photos, uh, cause, uh, Odin had like a little pink shirt with like little white rabbits on it. It was super cute. We all matched. Um, so I can't wait to see those, but this is so adorable. A perfect like photo shoot, like spring, summer photo shoot outfit. So that was definitely a long haul. I think there's a lot of great pieces. I am always very impressed with the quality of Old Navy clothing. Um, and I think that was definitely a good like wide array of the pieces that they have, everything from loungewear, uh, to every day to even occasions like this dress that I'm wearing. I hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos like this please hit subscribe. We are also doing some family content, some parenting content, so if you're also into that please hit subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!